cold outside But the fire keeps us warm We can't spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me The snow is falling Hey guys, so today is all things gift wrapping. I have a ton of gift wrapping to do. Some of it will be in bags, but I'm gonna show you my simple, easy methods for wrapping boxes in different types of boxes. So it's pretty simple, easy, no stress. <laughs> and also I'm gonna show you how to make a bow. So let's go. So I'm using these wrap buddies. It's one on either end and you just simply grip it. So you have one of these, this is called a wrap buddy and there are two of them. You just simply clamp it onto your surface and into the hole of your paper roll and lock it in and you're able to pull the paper. So I took the tape off of the roll that it came on and I popped it on here. Then you can just easily tear a piece of tape as you need it. Now what you can do if you're really good, you can use one side with regular tape and on the other side put double sided tape. So first thing is we have to put something in the box. So what I like to do is I get my tissue paper and I like to just kind of grip it in the middle of the tissue paper and I will fold it down to the size of the box. So you want to make sure that the paper fits inside of the box. Now I pull it over the box and just sit it inside. Now I take my gift and this I have a sweater for my son and I'm just going to put that in and you can cover it up you now. Nice and neat inside. If you want to be really fancy, you can put like a little sticker in there or a note or whatever you want to put inside and then cover it. Let me get the top piece. Now, with the box, it's up to you if you want to tape it or not. I like to tape it. Just a tiny piece of tape. So I only need like a little inch piece of tape. And I turn the box upside down to where to an opening and put it lengthwise just right along the edge. Like that. And then one on the other side. And what this does is it keeps the box from opening because if someone were to pick it up and shake it and the top comes a loose, it can cut the paper. So this will prevent it from shaking loose. You can't shake it open. So it's time now to roll out our paper. What's really cool now is that paper has these grid lines and that helps you to measure and cut in a straight line. I'm using my little deer as a paperweight. He's doing a good job. So first thing I'm gonna do is flip the box on, upside down because we want the top of the box to be on the flat side of the paper. Next we wanna bring it either 
down to where it's exactly to the, the paper is exactly to the edge of the box. Or no less than three quarters of the way. So you just want to make sure it's the same on the opposite side of the short end of the box. Then on the long side of the box, we want it to be long enough to go over the edge a little bit. And we're going to cut. Once I know I have the paper even on both sides, I'm going to go ahead and tape it down to keep it, secure it in place. And you just only need like a little piece of tape, about one inch. Now what you want to do is crease. Every time you have a fold in your paper, you want to crease it. So I want to crease this edge. Crease it really good. Now we're going to fold the box over. Once again, you want to crease your edges on both sides. Now when we cut, we don't want to cut right on the edge, we want to cut, give it at least about an inch overhang, because then we're going to tuck this in to make a nice seamless crease. So we're going to leave about an inch. And cut that all the way down. So now that you have your paper cut completely from the roll and you have an inch of overhang, now we can flip the box over. You want to pull it pretty taut, but you don't want to tear it and then start to crease it. Now you're going to take it and you're going to Use that crease, crease it all the way down, and it should nicely fit the edge of your box. It should fit the edge of the box just like it was a lid. See that? You can either use regular tape, or if you want to make it perfect edge, you can use double sided tape and seamlessly make it where there's no tape shown at all. Other thing you can do is you can take a regular tape, which I have here. If you don't have double-sided tape, you can take the regular tape and you can double it over on itself and make it into double-sided tape. Just put it down towards the edge and pull it on. Of course, if you don't have double-sided tape or you don't want to do that, it's perfectly fine to just use regular tape and put it half on one end and half on the other end and just push it down. The only thing is you'll have a little gloss. You can see it a little bit, but that's fine. I like to put one in the middle and then one on either end of the box, like so. Now for the ends. I like to take one end and just push it in. 
Just push your thumb in and you're going to push it in like this. Just push that in all the way in, crease it on that corner. And then it's going to make like a point. Make that point on the top, make a point on the bottom, and crease them. Then do the same thing on the other side. Now I like to bring the top piece down first. And you're going again crease. Now for this bottom piece, if your ends are a little jagged, all you have to do is fold it over crease it and then pull it up and you're going to tape it. Put one in the middle first. And then on the ends. Now your box is all done. Time for the bow. I'm going to use two different types of ribbon. So this one is a wire ribbon. You can tell it has the wire inside the edging and it helps you to manipulate the bow. The other that I'm going to use is a velvet ribbon and it's very loose kind of flimsy and you cannot really manipulate the bow it's just going to flop basically so first thing we're going to put the box right side up on top of the ribbon i need to measure out how much ribbon i need to make the bow and i think this is about eyeballing it it's about a yard which is 36 inches Then you're just going to make a knot cross over just like you would just cross over like you're making a knot just like if you're tying your shoes put your finger the loop and loop it around And that's why this ribbon is so great because you can really manipulate it. And you have a cute bow. Now you want to finish your edges. So you don't want to leave the edge straight like that. 
you can cut it on a diagonal done. Now what I like to do just to add a little extra zhuzh to any gift that I give is to put an ornament on the gift. And you just use the little piece that you have. This is like a little burlap twine that comes with the ornament. Just pull that through. You can either tape this down or you can put it, when you were tying your bow, you could loop it through the ribbon that you're tying the bow, or you can just tape it down. I'm just gonna simply tape it underneath the bow so that you can't really see it. Last thing is to add a name tag. Don't forget the name tags. There's so many different types of name tags and there are like the adhesive ones. I use them all because I buy so many and then I have them left over from year to year. So just use whatever you feel most comfortable with or you have on hand whichever type of name tag you prefer but the thing is is to use a name tag so that you know whose gift it is and we're all done So right here I just finished wrapping a small box and I was going to use that pale velvet ribbon but I decided to use this color. So pretty. So again I'm just going to, with the velvet you have to make sure that you have the velvet turned the right way. Trust me, I've done that before. <laughs> I'm just measuring out how much I want to use. And I'm just going to make a simple bow on one end of the box. See, I'm about to mess up. The bow is so simple, you can either leave it by itself or you can add like a little sprig of pine or some rosemary or you can add another ornament and the name tag. Yeah, so I bought this box of these little wands and they just basically go right on the end of your paper to hold them in place so that your paper doesn't unravel like that. So it keeps your paper nice and secure. Y'all, so with gift wrapping, just make it fun. Just make it fun because it's work. 
<laughs> it is work. And I know some people really want to go all out and make um, bags out of the paper. I don't do that. That's too much work. Like, for odd-shaped things, get a bag. Just go to Dollar Tree and get the bag. <laughs> it's $1.25. And actually, it's not even $1.25 unless you get a really big bag. But get a bag and just put stuff in the bag. If you go to Dollar Tree or one of the dollar stores, usually they come two, three, uh, for two or three for um, medium-sized bag to small bags. And actually, I buy them in bulk. So I order them online and get them in bulk. So for teachers, coworkers, that kind of thing, and I make an assembly line of all the items and I go down the line. Boom, 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 boom. Pop it in the bag, stuff the paper, tie it a little bow. I get some raffia or string or different things and, and make a cute little bow on the bag. Done. And then line them up and off they go. But some years we have made it like a competition in who can wrap the cutest box um but yeah but by the end of wrapping all of them gifts some things don't even get wrapped you just sit them under the tree the night before on christmas eve some things don't even make it <laughs> i get tired it's a lot of work but it's a labor of love because you you're rewarded when your gift looks beautiful. So that is it for me. It's been a long day. We have no internet. I'm going to pray. i update y'all to see the internet's going to do better. Uh, if we're going to get internet uh, tomorrow, if they're going to show up or not. <sighs> y'all pray for me. I need my internet. Did y'all see the plant sprouted? I love it when they're tiny little babies. So the little pods have sprouted. Oh my God, they're so cute. I love it when they're little tiny sprouts. So it usually takes about three to four weeks for them and to grow to maturity in that hydroponic tower. So yeah, I'll keep y'all updated. All right, see y'all tomorrow. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can't spend.